Hey guys, this week on Quick Tip of the Week, I'm going to be teaching you how to bend any sort of object that you want in Photoshop. Let's get started. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Quick Tip of the Week. Okay, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to bend any type of object or picture or anything with a PNG background, um, just how to bend it in Photoshop. So, the uh, first things you're going to do is just bring your picture into your uh, um, your template. So I have just got a uh, random tree in a 1280 by 720 uh, template. So uh, you're just gonna select the layer and make sure, you don't have to rasterize it actually, just make sure that it's selected. And it's very simple, you're just gonna go to filter, you're gonna go to distort and sphere. Now this menu will pop up, so you're gonna play around with this a little bit. Uh, what I do is I keep it out warped, uh, warped around, and then this is where you're gonna basically just play around with it. And it'll show you what's gonna happen to uh, your picture that you selected right here. So I'll just take it to the middle, and it'll just start bending it. Uh, it just depends on how you play with it. And then I can even move it up here. It, because I created that dot, I can make a second dot and create a sort of uh, backwards S shape. And then I can even do the same thing down here. I can just do, I can basically do a whole bunch of possibilities with this. So uh, this is basically just up to you and what you want to do with this. So if this did help you, then uh, then please do subscribe, guys. Uh, just remember to like and comment. And if you want to see any more tutorials about anything else, then please just tell me. I'll make any sort of tutorial that you want. This is a uh, technique that I found actually very interesting and something that I would like to play around with a lot and maybe create something out of it. So guys, if you did enjoy this, then please do remember to like and uh, comment. And if you want to learn more about Photoshop, uh, Illustrator, and Adobe After Effects, then please do subscribe, guys. Thanks, and I'll see you later.